is that when investor demand is driven up because a commodity is falling uh, rapidly, as is the case with condos, what happens is when there is a lot of opportunistic investors looking to jump in and buy low, that actually has a tendency to create somewhat of a floor. This is Sam from Sabiru 6 Real Estate and Ray Max Wilson Real Tank. You can find my contact information in the description box with regards to my Gmail, my Instagram, and my office. As well, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment on this video if you're happy to enjoy my content and want to provide some feedback. If not, don't do any of those things. Feel free to dislike, unsubscribe, do whatever you want. In today's video, as I said in the previous video, we're gonna run down some poll results. You can go vote now, the new poll is up. I'm gonna go through some of the results uh, with regards to your opinion on the market and break down some of the comments. The poll I asked simply, when in your opinion, condo prices will bottom out and I provided five options which happen to be the maximum amount of options that the poll mechanism allows. Now obviously just to clarify I'm not a professional pollster, I'm not a data scientist, I'm not a statistician so I'm, I don't have concrete methodology. These polls are very informal in nature. For the options I provided the months of February, March, May, April and for the last option I provided June or after implying the month of June or any time after for June. 37 people happen to vote, which, you know, uh, for the relative size of my channel, I think is okay, but in the grand scheme of things, it's very minuscule in nature. The most popular result was the month of April, which I, in previous uh, videos, have stated that in my opinion, April will be the month that prices will happen to reach their, you know, most bottom uh, points. If you want my reasoning as to why I think April, May will be the bottom points, uh, go watch those videos on it. As a real estate professional, in my opinion, the prices will bottom out in April, but just to be clear, I think it's still gonna be a buyer's market into the summer months. I just think buyers who are looking to take advantage of low prices are taking more of a risk if you're they're waiting until into the summer months because I do see prices either sl slowly, steadily starting this incline upwards where they're inching back towards more of a balanced market or staying uh, pretty stagnant uh, and level. I don't see the condo market fully rebounding until 2022, maybe late 2021, and that's just to start with. As for why I think a lot of people said June, some of the comments clearly clarify as to why. Some people decided to support their votes in the comments. For instance, Jay said, I would say June or after. International students play a huge a role in Toronto's condo market and having students in campus for fall semester is crucial for Toronto condos to trend upwards as it will drive up the demands. And until we get a clear picture on how it will turn out, any boost in price will be short lived. So here's the thing, Jay, that is a very accurate point and I've mentioned those in my previous videos. Uh, however, one thing I do wanna mention that maybe you was not the top of your mind when you commented, but obviously I'm sure you are aware, is that when investor demand is driven up because a commodity is falling uh, rapidly, as is the case with condos, what happens is when there is a lot of opportunistic investors looking to jump in and buy low, that actually has a tendency to create somewhat of a floor. And the reason I think that the condo prices can uh, potentially bottom up before full migration at the full level we've seen in the past is implemented. That means obviously immigrants coming here for a new life and foreign students and uh, you know people who are coming here on a work visa for anywhere from a year to five years, whatever it is. I think domestic purchasers, many of which are working with me to buy low, will create some somewhat of a floor for condo prices where it won't you know go below that floor obviously because they will inundate the market with investment or demand. And previously, I harkened back to the fact that I'm not a professional pollster. You know, I'm not a statistician or an actuary. I don't work with mass amounts of data as such. Uh, so one of the comments actually was very critical. Horrible questions. Condos are on the elevator ride to the basement. Insisting there is a bottom in the next year is a ridiculous best market condos slash real estate five years minimum. So as I commented uh, in the comments, I responded and I said, well, I did include an option for after. I wasn't necessarily implying that the condos will rebound within the next year. I don't believe that whatsoever. As I said, they will rebound to the full health. I personally think 
at two years minimum. That's why I put the option for after alongside June uh, for you to vote after if you think it's not gonna even bottom out in 2021, if you think it's gonna be a continuous decline down to the basement, as you said, up to 2023. However, as I always say on this channel, I am open to honest feedback. Perhaps I should have made the options a little bit more elastic in nature where I provided uh, instead of, you know, uh, for each voting option was one month. I should have probably done uh, one to three months for each voting option. But I do appreciate your feedback ultimately. Anyways, that's a quick video. My next video coming up is gonna be around the time that the market stats for December of 2020 come out. I'm gonna break down the market stats as always in a long 10 to maybe even 20 minute video. So keep an eye out for that. Go vote on that poll, see what you think. And if I have time, if I'm not too busy, I might actually make a video on it. And like this video, go through your comments and the results. So until next time, this is Sam from Siberia 6 Real Estate, Remax Realtron Realty Inc. You can find my contact information in the description box. Feel free to get in touch, stay safe, and have a great day or night or wherever you're watching this.